What is up guys, Rick Akis here, and this is a tip video for people who are just entering into the world of Battlefield. If you've never played a Battlefield game before, you're interested in Battlefield 4, these are some tips that are going to help you out a ton. It's going to make things a lot easier, and it's going to make the hate messages a lot less. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoy. Tip number one, PTFO, which stands for Play the Fucking Objective, but it should really be PTFOP, play the fucking objective properly. And here's what I mean. Battlefield is a huge objective game. Especially if you're coming from Call of Duty, you're probably used to kills. This is not the way to go in Battlefield. There's so many players in a game, and with things like tanks, and you know, just the amount of assets at people's disposal, you're not going to be able to go on those massive kill streaks, usually, unless you're playing Deem Deathmatch. In Battlefield, winning the game matters a lot more than your KD actually, it's just the mindset of most Battlefield players. So if you're not playing the objective, you're going to have a bad time. What you're going to want to do is PTFOP, play the objective, play the fucking objective properly. And what I mean is, you know, a lot of people think playing the objective is just running at the MCOM station or blindly just running towards the objective, not the case. If you can set up near the objective while your teammate plants, while you're covering him, that's what you want to do. Ha be involved in the objective, get kills around the objective, just try to win. And especially, again, if you're coming from Call of Duty, it's more important to win in Battlefield. You're gonna, you know, get a lot of hate messages if you're just trying to get kills. Because there's not even any kill streaks in the game, so there's not really a point to doing that. Nextly, number two, trolls and how to deal with them. The Battlefield community does have some trolls, but what you're mainly going to find with the trolls of the Battlefield community is people trying to make the coolest shit possible happen. It's weird, but it's going to happen. You're going to see a guy putting C4 on a jeep or a dirt bike, jumping off a hill, and trying to blow up a helicopter in midair. And you're probably going to see it actually happen once in your game experience, and it's going to be the coolest thing you've ever seen. However, it's like those snipers on Search and Destroy who jump off buildings and constantly try to get 360 no-scopes and COD. It happens once every 100 times, the other 99 times it doesn't work and they just die and it's pathetic. So get used to this. Don't steal people's shit if they're putting C4 on it. Let them do their thing. It doesn't really hurt the game too much, but be used to this. Nextly, number three, try all the classes. Immediately when you in get into the game, Play a few lives as each class. Even if you have never sniped before, you think you're going to hate the sniper, try out the sniper. And also remember that certain guns, for example, the shotguns, well not for example, certain guns like the shotguns, carbines, and uh, battle rifles, which are single shot, very powerful, like almost semi-automatic sniper rifles, those are for all classes. So you can be playing a sniper with shotguns or with carbines which are basically very very close to assault rifles so make sure you try all the different combinations there once you've tried all the combinations and you've you know experimented with each class and found your favorite class the number four tip is pick a class and stay with it for a while a lot of people what they do is they'll try a little bit of this and they'll play a lot and then they'll, they'll switch Kind of find your favorite class, let's say it's Engineer, and then stick with that class for a decent amount. It'll let you get really used to the game and used to the tools at your disposal. Also, it's really important to realize that when you just start out, let's say you're an Engineer, and you just start out, each team uh, you play for has a different starting gun. For example, if you play for the Chinese team, you're going to have a certain uh, SMG as the engineer for the Chinese team, then if you switch to the Russian team, you're going to have a different SMG. And it's going to change each time. So you really want to pick a class and play with it until you unlock your first gun. And what that's going to do is once you've unlocked your first gun, you can use that gun in any, no matter what team you're starting as. And it's really important because, you know, let's say you're playing Chinese, you, you do really well with that gun, you unlock some attachments, and then the very next game, you're Russian, you're starting out with an SMG again with no attachments. So you really want to get to that first gun and unlock it, so you get to keep all your attachments and use it no matter what uh, team you're on. Next, number six, or sorry, number five, if you suck, help the people who don't suck. And what I'm saying is, you do not, this is not Call of Duty, there are so many ways to get points in the game. I've seen people go in like, like they're 2 and 10, and they're almost at the top 
of the leaderboards or the scoreboard for the game because they just do so many support actions. If you were terrible at the game, do not worry. You can still help your squad a ton. Be a medic. Revive your teammates. Be a support guy. You give your teammates ammo. If you are a support guy and your teammates are going around killing everyone, if you can just follow them around, shoot at people. Because remember, in Battlefield, you cause suppression by shooting at people. And it's uh, you cause more suppression than usual with light machine guns as support and also snipe rifles as the recon. So if you're simply shooting at people, they're going to be suppressed and their aim is going to be lessened when they're shooting back at your team. So that's all you gotta do. Follow your team around, shoot at in the general direction of people, give them ammo or give them health when they need it, and you're going to be watching the points pile up. Because if you're healing your teammates, it's like 20 points for squad uh, healing. So it'll be 20, 20, 20, 20. Before you know it, you're going to have like 3 kills worth of points in like 5 seconds if you're under a heavy firefight. Next, gun stats matter. And the little changes matter. In Battlefield, there's no effects really on magazine size or reload time. So if a gun has a quick reload, that's really, really important. Also, the, the guns are very, very similar in Battlefield. Most of the assault rifles in Battlefield 3, in fact, all the assault rifles except for one, had the exact same damage profile. They did 25 damage up close and they went down to, I think it was like 16.5 or something like that. And every single gun had the exact same damage profile except for one. And what this meant was the little changes mattered a lot. So changes in accuracy, changes in bullet velocity, stuff like that really differentiate the gun. And don't underestimate bullet velocity. In Battlefield, in case you don't know, each bullet is treated as its own entity. It go it exits the barrel, wow, it goes out of the barrel, and it is a bullet, and it's programmed that it will actually travel and it will fall over time. And it takes time to travel to a target. Unlike Call of Duty, where if you shoot, it instantaneously travels the entire length of the map. In Battlefield, you are actually going to have to lead your targets, which is when people are running, you have to shoot in front of them so the bullets are hitting them. At extreme ranges, you will actually have to shoot above people's heads so the bullets will curve down and hit them. So be aware of this. The guns with a faster bullet velocity will be better at dealing, people with, long, uh, dealing with people at long ranges. Also... Certain things, like putting a sensor on, will lower bullet velocity. So be aware of which guns already have a pretty low bullet velocity and make sure not to ruin them even more. Next, guns actually have recoil in this game. And if you're coming from, again, I keep saying Call of Duty, but that is what most people are coming from. If you're coming from a game like Call of Duty or other games where it's just kind of an arcade shooter, you are not going to be used to the recoil in Call of Duty, you, uh, in Battlefield. Very few guns can shoot at people fully automatic at medium range. Most guns, you will have to burst fire. It's just a thing. It doesn't mean you have to change the gun to burst fire mode, which in Battlefield you actually can do without using up an attachment. You just press uh, uh, one of the D-pad directions. But you will often have to shoot only three or four bullets at a time and burst fire people at long ranges. Otherwise, you're going to miss substantially. Next, number eight, don't steal people's shit. What I'm saying is if you see a guy and he's repairing a tank and no one's in his tank, that's his tank. It is totally okay to get in the tank and immediately switch the gunner seat. It is not okay to go in the tank and drive away. That is a huge mistake some beginners make because they're not really paying attention, but make sure not to steal that person's stuff because what that person has just done is got in a huge gunfight probably killed another tank, helped your team out substantially, and he has no gunner, so he has to get out and repair his own tank. The last thing he needs is for you to steal his tank and drive away with it. Do not do that. And it's not just for tanks, it's for anything. Next, number nine, don't fly shit ever. Don't ever, ever fly anything ever. Let other people do it, and you are not the person to do it. Now, obviously, that's a little bit over the line, but do not try your first outing in the plane on my multiplayer game. Do not try to fly the helicopter for the first time when there's five other people in it and we all need you to go to the objective because you're going to get us killed and it's going to suck. What you can do though is Battlefield 4 is introducing test range. So you can go 
and you can fly all the vehicles and get used to the flying techniques and fly around and do whatever and then when you're confident in your abilities when you can actually take a helicopter from like let's say the aircraft carrier land it on the island with no problems then fine you can totally fly the helicopter other than that do not try your first outing in multiplayer please do not let other people who are good at flying fly you can be a gunner you can do whatever you want but do not be the pilot until you've done some test range flights and actually know what you're doing number 10 there is no shame in being a gunner do not think that the only way you're gonna have fun and do well in the tank is to be the tank commander a gunner is very very good and you can get many many kills as the gunner also any kills as a gunner for example in a tank will level up the tank for you so if you're new to the game it's a great way to level up the tank. Get in a tank with someone who knows what they're doing. They'll go around, stay alive, be killing people. You can be picking off the people they don't quite kill and also killing, you know, infantry running at the tank and stuff and unlock stuff for the tank. So that means when you actually do get into a tank of your own, you're going to have some stuff for the tank unlocked and you're not going to be going at it um, with a bare bones tank against someone who probably does have some unlocks. Number 11, and the final point I want to make, always squad up. No matter what, always join a squad. The, the least of everything, you're going to have, like, potentially four more spawn points to spawn off of. And that's a huge advantage. Do not play Battlefield by yourself. Find some friends who play it. If you play a good game with someone, don't be afraid to invite your squad to a party or if you get invited to a party, don't be afraid to join. Make some friends. You know, both the Xbox One and the PS4 have like a thousand uh, cap on the friends list. It's, like, it's insane. So don't be afraid to add people who regularly played Battlefield so you can actually be in a squad. I won't even play Battlefield unless I can get a squad of three or four people because it is so much more fun to play in a squad. So always squad up. Do not try to lone wolf it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found any of these tips helpful, please share this with your friends who are new to Battlefield uh, because this is going to help you a lot. Again, hope you enjoyed. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a good day.